Our passage today from 1 John 3, 1 through 7, uh, talks about being children of God. Uh, and it, it talks about what that means in terms of behavior uh, for Christians. Uh, and it goes into some other things, but I, I want to focus on this one part, which is at the very end where it says, uh, everyone who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. Now, this comes at the end of a, of a passage, obviously, where uh, there's a lot of talk about you know avoiding sin and how uh, children of God are not ones who live in sin, who are you know, engaging in sin. And, and I think uh, sometimes we can get kind of caught up on uh, this sort of concept here and, and kind of mi misread this sort of out of, con out of context of the rest of scripture and think that it's calling us to live these like perfect, pure, uh, completely, uh, you know, mistake-free lives, which frankly, as humans, we're just not going to be able to do. Um, the, the point which I would say that we really need to take away from this is that as children of God, the expectation for us is to seek purify, is to try, do our best to purify ourselves, to be of pure and righteous conduct uh, to the best of our abilities. Uh, and to trust that that uh, God is the one who ultimately does purify us, who does bring us through to that kind of end state of perfection. Uh, and he will indeed uh, complete that uh at the second coming and at the day of judgment, uh, that that is as, that is where this kind of final sort of completion uh, and complete sort of purification is supposed to happen. Uh, so I, I wouldn't get too hung up on uh, you know on trying to. Uh, on, you know, trying to be absolutely perfect in terms of your life. Uh, but when it comes to living righteously, there are some things that we can do that are somewhat positive. Uh, we should be engaging people around us uh, in the in a way that it, it reflects our uh, status as Christians, as Christ followers. Uh, so that means loving other people, uh, you know, not getting angry when somebody cuts you off on on the beltway, which I, I know that could be very difficult at times. Uh, but, you know, you know, be, being loving to others around you, being respectful to others around you, uh, you know, uh, caring for those who are in need, um, all those types of things. Uh, you know, it, it, loving our, you know, our brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, you, you know, loving our enemies, you know, that's the really hard one. Uh, these are all things that in doing so, uh, we are able to live out righteously, and they are things that are expected of us as Christians, and they're things that we should be attentive to and try to emulate in our lives to the best of our abilities. Again, perfection is it's just not going to happen. Uh, you know, we are all human uh, and we are all fall short of the glory of God. It's why we need God. It's why we need this needed Jesus to come down to earth and die on the cross. You know, if we could do it ourselves, we, well, we all would. <laughs> um, so, you know, uh, uh, so perfection, being perfect isn't really kind of the point which I would take away from this. What I would take away from this is to just focus on trying to uh, do your best to do the things that uh, reflect righteous living and, and that are righteous acts. Uh, and in doing that, we can all live as children of God. Amen. Now, I'd like to invite you all to join me for our last worship song today.